Hello, monsters of Anhir, and welcome back to Total War Three Kingdoms and part nine of my Yellow Turban campaign, where I've picked up a cold of some kind. So that's fun. I've got a throbbing headache. And also, to add to my misery, I forgot to save at the end of the last episode. So I had to rerun the uh, the last the last turn, which meant that Guan Hai did catch uh, Lu Chao in battle over here, but I also resolved it, so his army took a lot more damage than it would have done, because I couldn't be asked to fight it again. We didn't get the gold crossbow either, which is a bit of a shame, but never mind. Also, our money's less good than it was, um, but I did pick up some venerable Wu for uh, Shu Xuan, who is... They, these guys have poison attacks. Now, you might go, well, their stats are fine, and they're quite expensive, but Poison Blade does 75 damage over 15 seconds. Now, that might not sound like a lot, but leave them in combat with, say, a heavily armoured unit. And that heavily armoured unit's not going to have a good time. Because these guys have got a lot of melee evasion, which means they will dodge most hits aimed at them. And at the same time, they'll be poisoning the shit out of whoever they're hitting. So it, they're actually quite nasty. Um, you probably don't want to leave them in the front line. But as a flanking force, they are absolutely devastating. So we definitely want to make use of those. Two arms! Now, um, we've also been hit, oh, fucking hell, by a cunning scheme, the wolf guarding over the chickens, which means we've got 100 minus reserves at uh, Langya, which means this entire commandery now has minus, minus 96 reserves for four turns, which of course means it's now got no fucking reserves, and it's, oh, it's fuck's sake. Not, not to mention the fact that they've also done the, uh, the sabotage stockpiles at fucking lean as well, which means there's no stock supplies there either. So basically, all of our frontline settlements and commanderies, which is, well, all of them, have have nothing. And they have no supplies, they're all starving. And, well, apart from Beihai, which is okay for the moment, but give it fucking time. Strike Jesus. Anyway, because of that, I think we need to hit Kong Rong ASAP. Now, he's already taken quite a lot of damage from the siege, so we should just be able to mop him up, hopefully. Might even be able to catch a Yujin. And then I can execute him and take fear and discipline. So that would be nice. Yeah, that, that'll happen. That will happen. So Yu Jin versus Wang Shao. And Pei is kind of just is getting in the way. He, he wants to get through it and he doesn't... He, he's, He's struggling a little bit. He's fine. Anyway, our army is moving up. And, of course, we're a little bit close to these houses either side. And we have had... You cannot defeat me. Yeah. We, we have had some training about not burning down people's houses. It wasn't it wasn't totally successful. I'm sure we'll see how that goes. Eugene is getting his ass kicked. I mean, it's not even fucking close. Brutal. Yeah, Eugene is going. I, I'm, those, those swords are as good as mine. And our archers are getting some serious work done. Our cavalry on the flanks is just staying away from the rest of the battle because, of course, they are currently hidden. It's exchanging a little bit of fire there. Cavalry on this flank as well. We're just waiting, really, for the the duel to finish, which it just has. The enemy unit as Eugene gets cowards. gets a lot of his insides put on the outside, and then our forces are going to charge. Almost immediately, the units in the centre breaking, creating uh, a big hole in the centre of their line, which means we can get some surrounds. Our cavalry is also moving in on either side, and Kong Rong just left to kill. Going to get some lovely rear charges here as our white wave horsemen. Spots a little, little point on the flank. Oh, lovely charge. And we're going to get a lovely little charge here as well. More white wave horsemen. Oh, that's, that's good shit. 
That's good shit. There we go. Getting a nice little charge there. We have some spearmen coming in from behind, which is going to trap our white wave horsemen. But then we have some of our yellow turban horsemen coming in from the rear as well. That's going to break them. This is absolute carnage. This isn't battle. This is a slaughter. I demand vengeance. Well, you're welcome to try and take I will it. Crush you for this insult. Look, the enemy run. More rear charges right into the back of the Zhang Majian infantry. That's going to break them. That's going to break oh, them. No. Kong it's Rong dragon. is now getting his head kicked in because he's a big robe wearing nerd. When justice triumphs, revelry awaits. Yeah, suck it, nerd. Oh, hello. A stone... I don't want a stone monkey. I want your swords, you bastards. Fine, I'll release you. Go. Just because I want your sword rather than your monkey. Uh, let's occupy. It is ours by right. Oh, the entirety of three commanderies. I get five big ones. And Kong Rong is out of here. Right. Do I want to kill Guan? I mean, yes. Yes, I do. Is there any... Are you not taxing... I know, I'm not taxing this. This is my... This is not his... This is not how his settlement is. This is how my settlement is. That's how his settlement is. Uh, I do need to kill him, don't I? Really? That's the dream. Um, that would be quite nice. More armor for retinue would be okay. Don't know why my voice went weird there at the end. Uh, let's... Plus 15 melee evasion, that is quite nice. Uh, okay, let, let's go with Unyielding Earth. Let's get that one. We've got some nice abilities. Hey, what a lad. And uh, you are replenishing, which is fine. We're leaving all that to... That's okay. Oh, I really want to kill Guan Yu, but I just... I guess we could try and siege him out, couldn't we? Depending on how much of a garrison he has. But that does leave... Guan Hai is my only defender. Mind you, we're only at war with Sao Sao at the moment, so maybe if I could beat up Sao Sao a little bit, I could fend him off. I mean, Guan Hai seems to be doing okay for himself. I, I think we'll be all right. Oh. Interesting. Okay. Okay. Do I now? Hmm. I could just go and sit in their territory and annoy them. He's going to declare war on me. I can see it coming, but. I think I just need to chill. I just need to chill, but what I am going to do is I'm going to do a little ambush there, and we're going to move down here. Now, we are going to have. A rebellion. Uh, it's only going down one a turn. That's probably fine. We're not taxing at the moment, but to be honest, as long as I've got it, it means Guan Yu doesn't have it, which means he doesn't have much food. Which I like, obviously. Um, we've actually got a lot of food, which is nice. These places, though, are not happy because they don't have any fucking reserves left. Which is a pain. Only for three turns, though. And then, of course, they can do it all over again. Uh, we don't... I get... Mm. Okay, let's... I think I did this last time anyway, but we'll upgrade this to give me a little bit more money, which is good. And... I guess otherwise, we're just, just pretty... It's pretty chill at the moment. We've got kind of a little corner here, apart from Guan Yu, of course, over there. I wonder if we can do any more deals. Lu Chong would take her. With you now, and in fact, speak quickly. You would give me some money for that. 
but I'm more than happy to take all your fucking money, golden boy. Give me your money. Did I do this last time? Can't remember. A successful bid. Hmm. Okay. That is a big chunk of change. Now we're upgrading you. Can I just buy you? I could just buy you. I'm just going to buy you. And that's going to cost a fair old wedge. I was doing building here. Yes, I was. Okay. Uh, we can't. Do I, uh, see. For one turn, it doesn't seem worth that much money, to be honest. So I'm going to just hold off. I could maybe upgrade some of you boys. Now, we've mostly got. Mu I mean, Archery Masters here makes a lot of sense, doesn't it? It doesn't make as much sense for you. So I could replace these guys with Archery Masters and replace these guys with just bog standards. What can you recruit? The Virtuous Nobleman. You can get the... I mean, the Reclaimers are nice, so I would like them. Watchmen of the Peace. It's the Crossbow Boys. That would be quite good. I mean, you, yeah, yeah, okay, okay. Um, I wish to know what the fuck you can recruit. So you can get the heavy sword infantry, the stalwart spears, arms of the supreme peace, righteous vanguards. They sound quite good. But... Did we not get the research for someone? What's these? Huang Lao's paragons and venerable Wu. Oh, so those guys can be recruited by you? And strike true. Yes. Fine. I'm tempted to get some more archery masters, but I feel like this army is pretty good. I mean, I would like a little bit more defensive infantry, but overall I think they're, they're fine. I might want to replace the yellow turban horseman with more shock cav, but and this seems okay. I mean, I would like some cavalry here, but... I don't think we can get it at the moment, I can we? Your disposal, my lord. Good to know. Oh, you can get the Yellow Turban Horseman. I mean, just a couple of units of those would probably help quite a bit. Having said that, you are the... Me a kindness in calling, that... Oh, well, you know, no, don't worry, don't mention it. Welcome, my lord. You are... What's your stats? Formidable, obstinate, intrepid. Okay, so it makes sense to have... Welcome, my lord. The your archery boys with you. So if we replace these guys with some yellow turban horsemen... I could replace these with more lands chosen. But I don't think I will. I think I think that's okay. I mean, I, ideally, I'd like to get another army, but at the moment, I think I'm going to keep what we've got. Prepare your forces. Oh, Gong Sun San, no! You big jerk. What was that for? I've been busy. We had a trade agreement. We were chill. We were chill. We were chill. Fine. Guan Yu's declared war on Lady Wu. Okay. And uh, that's a thing. Apparently Wu is philanthropic. Good good for her. Got Grand Fishing Wharf, Ironcraft Village. That's all good. <sighs> Gong Sun Zan's declared war on me. That's bad. What the fuck are you doing here? Yellow Turban, what are you doing sailing? Are you sailing while ambushing? How the fuck do you do that? <laughs> the on okay, well, you're fine there. We've not seen any movement from Sao Sao in a while. With that said, he could be moving in this direction, so... Uh, 
Is how how do you feel about? Do we have to? Yes, you are in an alliance with South South, which means you can just traipse over my land any time you fucking like. Or traipse over his land, or he can traipse over your land. Fine. Um, good. Right, you have finished doing your thing there. Wu's doing the money income. That's the, mo the money income? She's doing the money income. That's what she's doing. She's doing the money income. Let, let let no one brick any interference. <sighs> Having Guan Yu in the back there is really bad, but... I'm tempted to go on the attack and, like, take out this. On the other hand, with Gong Sun Zan now in my north... Uh, uh, why did you have to do it, Gong Sun Zan? I was, I was chill. I mean, your main army's over there, which is quite far away. What I might actually do is just ambush you. To strike quickly. Just stay here. Remain firm. Yeah, ref remain firm. Don't Resume standard positions. Just go there. I don't want you moving at the end of the turn just in case. Woo, you're sad. How about uh, Jade Horseman? Does that make you cheer up any? What's that do? Shadow Runner. If you get Shadow Runner, you get more charge bonus for your own army. Well, we're probably not going to get Shadow Runner, let's be honest. Right, so Sal Sal has moved on us. Can we actually reach that army? No. Can we reach Dong? Yes, we can. So we'll go over to Dong. You still won't have supplies for two turns. How's your supplies doing? Your supplies should be okay. Uh, supplies for one turn. Public order is dropping, but actually it's, it's not too bad. It could be significantly worse, considering, but we're okay. Um, we could do this and get another building slot, which I like the idea of. So let's do that. It's going to use all of our monies. What can you do? Um, could attract legendary hero? Could do. Could give us more food. I might just keep you as you are for the moment. You are a grumpy boy anyway. You'll probably run away, which is fine. I might go and, like, sack this just to... Give Sal Sal something to think about. Maybe just try and give him a bloody nose. And uh, hope he backs off a little bit. Because he's being a little bit aggressive for me at the moment, actually. And that is, that's Guan Yu's army. Are you trespassing over my land, you big shit? Does this seem fair? I mean, I think so, but he is dead against it. Another time, then. Apparently. I'm surprised the Yellow Turban factions are still alive, to be honest. Um... They've been very tenacious, but that does mean that I can't recruit them. A good deal sales. Oh no. Jin Chuen is, is sad. She's a sad girl. I mean, not that sad. But she's okay. She'll live. Hello? You just seem to be... I mean, that does mean they probably don't have an army here, right? Right? It does say garrison. Have you got two fucking stacks of one fucking settlement? Are you shitting me? And uh, you you couldn't get away, could you? You couldn't run far enough. That's a shame for you. Really? That does not seem that... Should be fine. He says when he takes horrific casualties. We won with integrity. Yeah, that, that was... That was a lot worse than it should have been. Hello? You're level two, you're level three. I mean, neither of you are particularly good. Are you friends with each other? Yeah. Well, I mean, I could use the money. Free them all. It would be unjust to punish them further. Spare your frustration. Yeah, I mean, would it though? They cannot hear. All right, at least we'll be replenishing, and we can see South South doesn't have any armies down there, so we're fairly safe. I could go on a little raid to attack. Standard stats. Forward. We could do this. What's your supplies like? Mm, not, not the best. Now, not the best. However, only one more turn of that, and you should then start getting happier. Oh, minus 60. We're losing so many people because of that as well. It's absolutely devastating, that. Oof. <laughs> my my income bonuses no 
I really like my income bonuses. Oh, fuck. Look at that, plus 33% income. Oh, so much money flooding into my coffers, and I need it so much. I need the monies. Holy shit, I need the monies. Uh, do I want to raise another? I might, like, raise an army at uh, Langya. Who would we raise? We've got Hong. Who's Hong? Elusive. Okay, not bad. Perceptive. Pretty good. Tolerant. Hmm. I mean, it's not the worst. Not the worst. And you're a musician, so, you know, you can bang out some belting tunes. Uh, Yin Ren is, is a sad boy. He desires a higher court position. Hmm. He's healthy. Well, that's not bad. Intrepid. That's good. Solitary. Mm. That's not bad. I like the melee evasion. That is not bad. And plus, it would make you happier, wouldn't it? It would make you happier. So maybe... Ever upwards. Ever upwards indeed. Bring news of what occurred in my absence. Uh, pff, not much, really. I mean, you'll catch up fairly soon. Let's... I like the fact you've got some Yoto Morios, even though you can't fucking recruit them. Uh, let's go with some, like, Men of the Forest? Yeah. Let's just get a couple of those. And then, of course, we've got the garrison there as well. So that should keep us fairly secure on that flank. Who do we want here? Do we've got anyone useful? Um... I mean, that is fine. Okay, have that guy. And would you like a bow? Have a bow. Have a bow. And why not an axe? There you go. There you go. See, you're getting tricked out. All this stuff should should make you a bit happier, maybe. I don't know. You're so grumpy. I'm tempted to hit Guan Yu now, but at least he's, if he's far away, he's less threat, right? 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 Okay, you're still a sad boy. I mean, I gave you some stuff. Okay, that doesn't actually make you happier. None of that stuff makes you happier. It just... I gave you a nice bow, and you're like, meh. It's alright, I guess. Fucking, oh well. I mean, you won't get sadder, so probably. Can I reach this? I can. Should I take it? It feels a bit... If they've got a big stack there, that could be really dicey. Let's just take a look. Let's take a little look. I can't see anyone there, so I'm going to grab it. Remain sharp. Fuck it, mine now. Suck it, Sal Sal. Righteousness won today for our labors. Yes. Now I have a lovely Grand Temple of the Way. Now normally that increases holy shit, we get 20% research rate. That's amazing. I mean normally it increases um whatchamacallit? Thingy Majig. You know, the Satisfaction. There we go. Got there in the end. China is people, not its oppressive warlord. Do you think we can do... I mean, we don't have much in the way of supplies. That's the only thing. I mean, supplies will be getting better here next turn, which means you should then be getting supplies... Um... Patience I have to be very careful about supplies. I, I will run out of supplies. Oh, we've got a white stallion. That's nice. I'm going to give that to pay, I think. There we go. He's now got more resolve, more instincts. Look at that. He's looking, he's looking pretty, pretty beefy. He's a beefy boy. He's got a big old serpent, serpent spear. Zhang Fei's spear. Zhang Fei died, and Guan Yu took the spear, and uh, now it's our spear. Uh, I'd, I, mm. I mean, we could maybe try and lure Sao Sao into an ambush. His army doesn't that look that problematic. I think we could do it. I think we could do it. Is 
Share the wealth. Uh, more public order, more satisfaction. Um, or we can keep it. I'm going to distribute the wealth to give me some more public order, because there's a few settlements that have just had supply problems that are now getting better. So we're getting supplies there now. Good. Now, Sao Sao is sitting here in, in a fort, and that's... I don't know. I mean, because we're always in stealth mode, it might be okay. But we don't have any fire arrows. We have got we have not got fire arrows, have we? We don't have fire arrows. We've got flaming shots, but no fire arrows. But Where is fire? Do we get do we get, um do we get fire arrows? Maybe we don't. Holy oh, shit. It's a bit bollocks, isn't it? Um, okay. So we don't get flaming arrows. Apparently we never never worked out how to set fire to arrows, despite the fact it sounds pretty easy. Um, okay, I mean, the other problem is we've got another stack down here. I don't really like the idea of setting an ambush because we may be able to get hit by two stacks. Well, ambush success chance is 70% though. 80%. This is a. With shield, cleave with sword. This is dicey because if they spot me, they will hit me with two sacks, and then I'll be fucked. So this, this, this is this is ballsy. Is this going to give me more supplies? Yes. Ready, okay, we'll do that and get more supplies, and then we'll go and hit um, Ping Yuan just to just to annoy Gong and Zan really, just to maybe kick him in the nuts a little bit. Tian is philanthropic. Good for him. Okay, fingers crossed, because this could go very this could go very bad. This could go very, very badly if this go all wrong. Come on, come on. Okay, we got the ambush. That's perfect. If we can kill Sao Sao, that's not bad capture chances across the board. If we can catch Sao Sao, then I don't think that second army will come and attack us. So Look at his horse. I want that horse. Give it to me. Looks like a nice horse. Those tiger cubs. Very missile resistant, so not a good idea. I mean, they're, they're very missile resistant, but not against that many arrows. So they're actually taking quite significant beating. Are you going to charge straight into our line? Once again, where our spears aren't. Classic. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Got a good front line, and Huang Xiao is engaging. Huang Xiao is engaging Jahadun, and Pei is engaging Sao Sao in combat. I'm not particularly worried about this. I think both of our boys are. I mean, Jahadun's only rank five compared to Huang Xiao's rank nine, and Sao Sao's again rank five compared to Pei's rank seven. Basically, um, we've had to fight so many people that uh, we're, we're super fucking ranked up. And Pei, it says Pei is like massively outmatched by Sao Sao, but that is just not true. They're still continuing to run around each other. No? Okay, well, they're, they're continuing to do that. Their main force is now arriving. The uh, Qin Shao assault infantry charging past the duel that's happening. Jahadun is massively outmatched here. Huang Xiao is just taking him apart. Fury. I will cut you to pieces for your treachery. What treachery? You're the treacherous one. You're always doing all the fucking treachery. Well, Sao Sao's run away. The enemy unit flees. What, cowards. what cowards indeed. And Jahadun is, is getting his head kicked in. I mean, seriously, it's brutal. He does have Imperious, Imperious Courage. Minus five second decrease. That's amazing. That's a really good ability. Is that his? 
That's that's a good one. Pei is engaging Sao Ren, who of course is Sao Sao's cousin. Oh, there we go. Okay, that's two enemy generals dealt with, and just one to go. Meanwhile, our cavalry's a little bit uh, mixed up in a, a big old melee over here with some spears. We do have the Militia of Virtue who have turned up to try and help out. And we're now trying to pull the cavalry out while using the Militia of Virtue to basically shield their retreat. Which does mean the Militia of Virtue could be in trouble, but my cavalry were in more trouble, so we're going to pull them out of there. Most of the enemy army is now fleeing. I can't really blame them. And Sal Re How's Sal Ren doing? Let's go and check up on Sal Ren. How is he doing? I, I kind of do. I mean, we've got the big old serpent spear thing, and you've got a military jun, which is... It's not looking good for you, Sal Ren, I'll be honest. It's not looking it's not looking great. How's the Militia of Virtue holding on? They are fighting multiple units and they're fine. They're absolutely fine. In fact, they're barely losing any of their number. And our cavalry now moving in to get a fantastic charge on the flank here. There's like a big long line of spears waiting to deal with the Militia of Virtue. Sal Ren drops dead. We get a lovely charge. That's looking pretty good. These spears still holding on for the moment. Our archers are running low on ammunition, but they have done significant damage. Uh, the Saber Militia trying to uh, join in the fight against the Militia of Virtue. But it's not looking good. They're losing, they're losing quite, a, quite a lot of their number. Cavalry coming in for another charge. Which is pretty devastating, leaving Sal Sal's army desperately fighting against impossible odds. And they're finally breaking. Looks like some... Some of these boys managed to get around into our men of the forest. But fortunately, our men of the forest aren't actually that bad in melee combat. And have seen them off. Well, that's Sal Sal dealt with for the moment. Okay, we've given Sal Sal a bit of a bloody nose. With any luck, even worse. Celebration is due. Let the wine flow. Indeed. Hello. Hello, Jahadun. God, Sasa's so going to be really annoyed if I execute you. But guess what I'm going to do? Such is the price for betrayal. And I'm going to replenish. Now, what are they going to do? Are they going to send another army? They are going to send another army. Oh, they've gone into ambush stance. I might pull back. I might let them have it. I don't think there's any point blundering into that ambush. It just doesn't make any sense. I could try and ambush myself. Who? Wait, who's sad? We've got effective negotiation. Lovely. And we've got more public order. Lovely. Wait. My blade is poised. Who's sad? You're sad. Why are you sad? You desire a higher court position. I can't look. I don't. I don't have a higher court position. I'd love to give you one. Is it because you've upped your rank? No, you haven't even upped your rank. You're just grumpy. Okay. Uh, let's go with. What do we like? Ooh, more income from commerce. Hello, fire arrows on the character that's not really going to be able to use them. So that's good. More armor piercing damage is. Okay, and increased post-battle loot would also be quite nice. So, yes, we'll take that one. Thank you very much. Never yield. So, right, my options here are I could try another ambush. However, they now have potentially three stacks in range. 
Thrust with conviction and strike true. And I don't think it's worth it. So apparently it's our Ren and our rivals. That I don't know who that guy is. Pay oh Relationship lost. Interesting. So you're no longer friends? No. Okay, that's probably why. And maybe? I, I genuinely don't know. Okay, well, never mind. Uh, Hong. Little Hong. We could go for knowledge of the body. Knowledge of the spirit. I mean, you can't go wrong with heals, can you? So we're going to get a heal. So you're grumpy. You're a grumpy boy as well. We need something to up our, our satisfaction, I think, is, is probably what I should be aiming for. Anything that's going to give you more satisfaction, that's satisfaction for scholars. Now, who are scholars again? I can never fucking remember. My lord. You're the healer. You're the veteran. You're a scholar. Right, so I want... Veteran. Veteran happiness. So that's for scholars. That's for healers. So the veterans must be down. Here we go. Right, yes. Four turns. Okay, I think we're going to bug out of this because... Or do we? Or do we just... <sighs> inwards and strike out. They could potentially bring three stacks to face us. I shall not waver. Which would be troublesome. Deflect with shield, cleave with sword. I'm gonna play it safe and with pull back. Purpose. Because I just don't think it's worth Remain the potential loss. So we're going to sit back there and just chill out for a minute. I need spices and entrepreneur. No, wait, did I want that? I wanted whatever gives us more income, right? Um, that's going to give us more. Yeah, okay, let's go with that then. Destroy corruption. I feel like we've got enough. Return to standard position. Advancing. I'm going to go and sack this place because I could make 2k. I want that money's... Hong's got a thing. We've got an heirloom spear. Thank you, Jahadun. Very kind of you. Obviously, he didn't really want to give it up, but... Oh, shit. Of a good, good to hear. So this gives me 1.4k. This gives me 1.4k, but it's better. So we'll give you an heirloom spear. So we've got... We've got really good weapons across the board. I just... I, I feel like... Sacrif potentially sacrificing Wang Xiao is a bad... Is a bad move. If we'd been spotted, that could have got very bad very quickly. Because they could have brought up all three armies to attack us at the same time. With that said, it looks like Cao Cao's wife has just blundered into range. So as long as she's not in range of the settlement, we should be able to kill her and then run away again. <laughs> uh, Cao Cao's going to be so annoyed. Good. That's how I like Cao Cao. Fuming! Hopping with rage. Uh, settlement lost. Yep, yeah, that's okay. We in range of his lovely wife? We are. Hello! Hello there, my dear. How are you? I mean, I'm just going to delegate that. Righteousness won today. Indeed. We've got a herdsman. We managed to capture her two little compatriots. You're tough, competitive, graceful, and understanding. Holy shit, look at how much money you're going to give me. Okay, I'll release you because you... Them all. Oh, fuck it, you're not really worth anything. Let the captives go. Um, I'm going to take... The... Yeah, it thanks. Would be unjust to punish them further. Thanks for the money. My Wang Shao, away! The goal is fixed. Uh, right. What poisonous lies will you spit today? Have you had enough or you're thirsty for more? You're thirsty for more. Alright, fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, I should have realised it would be winter. Never mind. 
Uh, light battle, delegate. Our faith was rewarded. Second withdrawal. Oh, well, that one. This power Apparently one guy really enjoyed that. He loves a good second withdrawal. Oh. Oh. Not its oppressive warlords. Yeah, that's why I always say. Uh, right. What do we want to do with you? What's this? This would give you... Our victory is proof of heaven's approval. Good. This would give you more armor. What's your armor at the moment? 62. That's not bad. That's not bad. More research rate. Would be nice, though. It would be nice. What's this one? Oh, this gives recovery. Oh, well, that's just a obvious... An obvious one. Okay, so we've made quite a lot of money recently, thanks to uh, thanks to everyone. Uh, so I'm going to do I want to upgrade Dong. I don't. I I kind of do want to upgrade Dong, but at the same time, God, Yellow Turban Garrison's a shit. Why do they give you horse archers? What's the fucking thought there? Infantry was where it's at. You know what? I'm going to save my pennies because I could rush. I could rush. I'm going to rush you. I'm going to rush you, and then I'm going to get a. Oh yes, a gardens, because that's going to that's going to just cheer the, everyone up. Everyone's so grumpy at the moment. I just feel like let's do that. Let's do that. Everyone should be a little less grumpy. A little bit, anyway. Everyone should just be chilling out. Unlike Gong Sun Zan. Guan Hai's got a general's uniform. Very nice. Very nice, indeed. You may decide to chase me, but... I mean, the only thing is, I've now drawn all of Cao Cao's armies in, in my direction. Which might not be the best choice. We will settle this on the battlefield. Okay, but you're fucking miles away, mate. Fine. Uh, okay, maybe attacking during winter wasn't the best option, but they'd never expected it. It was. It was a genius move. Might go over here. Be ready to spring. Then we can do something like that. Why the fuck are you guys just sitting at the estuary there, just enjoying yourselves, just going for a little sail? You lunatics. Okay, we lost the research rate. But, on the other hand, we we got enough money to upgrade a lovely garden. So that's nice. So we've got a little, little bit of garden of our own. Uh, I won't upgrade you. What can we do here? Do we have anyone? No, we do have, we have no one we can put on assignment. I have a candidate here. What have you got? You've got a military expert. Okay, you've got a gun. Oh my god, he's got a gun. Uh, he's ambitious though, which I don't really like the idea of. So, he was part of the Yellow Turban Rebellion. Then he joined He Yi. And then he joined the Yellow Turban Rebellion again. And now he's back looking for opportunities. I don't know. It sounds like a fly by night. Fly by night boy. I wonder if we could lure Gong Sun Zan into a little ambushette. That would be good. I mean, not for him, obviously, but for me. Holy shit, how much shock cavalry have you got? That's so much cavalry. Oh, that's going to be a nightmare to deal with. And you've got the White Horse Raiders and the White Horse Fellows. Are they any good these days? I mean, their melee stats are actually pretty fucking legit. They've got more charge bonus than mounted saved militia. And better stats as well. I guess it makes sense, but they're not actually that much more expensive. Plus they come with arrows, so yeah, it's not bad. It's, it's not bad. Thrust with conviction and strike true. We got proficient scale mail. Fair enough. Is there anyone that would peace out? Am I all with Guan Yu? Um, yeah, apparently I am. Okay. When, when did that happen? I've got no... Right. 
Uh, what about trade agreement? Maybe. A waste of time. Yeah. Well, how about I give you some armor? Because I mean, I can't use it, so. A reasonable offer. Thanks. Gongdu is a big no. Um, right. Maybe I can peace out with Cao Cao. No, I can't because that's that's not. No. What about Guan Yu? No. Right. Okay. I guess I'm gonna have to kill. I didn't even realise I was at war with a bugger. That's a problem. Um, that's not a huge problem. But, or at least it wouldn't be if I wasn't beset on all sides by enemies. God damn it. Uh, who the fuck are you? Keep to the shade and preserve strength. Yep. Do do that. Do do all of that. Uh, you don't. You're not administering a commander at the moment. You may not be the worst choice for it, but uh, okay. Let's go with that then. Let's go with that. And you are still grumpy. Despite all the stuff I've given you. Look, you've got some garlic, you've got a lovely spear, and you're still just sad as balls. Steel for battle. Okay, the fact that Guan Yu's at war with me is bad, but I think his army marched off anyway, so... I'd be okay? Okay, that's not good. Sao Sao's just marched in the direction of... Langya. I could... Now, he did march, so I could maybe go and retake Peng Cheng, and that may draw him back, but two armies heading for Langya. Uh, little moustache boy over here is not going to be able to hold them off by himself. Although, we may be able to draw them into an ambush. Got rally sympathizers. That should hopefully cheer people up. Uh, Tian Xiao and Huang Xiao are having a nice time. That's good. Are you... Are you... Right, you, you finally... You're finally not a sad boy anymore. Standard stance. Moving as one. Oh, I can't. Well, can I afford another army? So we could. What are you? What are you? You're ambitious, philanthropic, intimidating. Yeah, we're not going to get you. You, on the other hand, are fraternal, bright, and honest. Okay, you're in. You're a you're a, what? You're a great learned one. No, you're a farmer. Oh, of course, you're one of my peeps, aren't you? I remember. It's fine. I know what I'm doing. Honest. You're one of my um my court people, aren't you? There you are. You're, the, you're, that, you're this one. You're this guy. More local character experience. More public order. All that kind of good stuff. I mean, that's fine. Good. Alright, great learned one. I mean, technically, I guess you should be in command. So, you're in command now. And we should probably give you something useful. Like... Guerrilla deployment? I mean, that's not really that useful for you. More supplies. That will come in useful. And something like this? Something like that. I kind of want to give you Venerable Woo. Okay. The Mission of Virtue is just so good. But I think we should probably fill out our army with... What are they? 145 compared to... Oh, they're actually not that much expensive. So, okay, we'll grab you. Because you just, like, hold the line for fucking ever. And we'll grab some archers. And that is a reasonable little defense force there. I mean, it probably won't hold up to multiple stacks. But if we bring you down here... 
Oh, you might be in range to attack next turn. That would be bad. My aim is precise. Actually, it doesn't look that. Doesn't look that good. I think we might be okay. We might be alright. Might be okay. Right, what is something that's going to really change my life for the better here? Minus 10% retinue upkeep. Yes. Yes, please. How much, my, how much am I spending on retinue? Uh, 7.4k. So, that's going to make quite a bit of difference. I don't like the fact I've got an enemy right in the corner over here. I guess it's fine, because his army seems to be down here somewhere. Um... But it's not, it's not really ideal. Fuck! Shit. Shit. That's disappointing. Uh, oh no! You executed them, you bastards. Right, well that's... That's a pain. At ease. And you can... Mind you. It does say the balance Stay of power is in my favour? No it doesn't. Oh, that's, 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 that's way too much stuff. That's way too much stuff. Okay, you're probably in range of Dong as well, aren't you? Uh, and we've also got Gongs and Zan, who apparently is dicking about and looks like he's about to invade as well. Okay, well at least that settlement can probably hold out for a minute. Maintain momentum. Okay, we're going to go and lay ambush over there. I mean, you're dead anyway, so I'm going to need someone new for my court, aren't I? I don't have... Oh, wait, I've got you. Okay, you can go there. Oh, wait, you were a local leader, weren't you? Oh. Uh, right. It was this place, which is industry income. It is industry income. So anyone who's going to give me industry income, you give me industry from uh, income from all sources. Hong is... Uh, it's not super good. You're going to upset people, but give me income from... Oh, Yao Feng, you're in. Fuck it. Fuck it. <sighs> that, that, was, that was not the best... Not the best. I mean, I, I hope they're going for Dong. But it depends who moves first. I'm kind of trapped here. It should be fine, maybe. Man conquers mountains. Mountains oh, good. Oh, good. There's, there's more armies. Can I defend this? I'm gonna bet not, because it's probably not a proper settlement. It's a farm. It's a farm, yeah. Yeah, in which case, I won't have towers, so I won't be able to deal with the generals, so I may as well just accept that I've lost that one. And we're going to lose Dong as well, aren't we? we offer peace. Uh, nope, you can fuck right off. What is this lunacy? You can fuck right off, mate. You can stuff that right up your ass. Oh good, my ambush fails. But that's not a super big problem. I don't need the ambush to win because technically every battle I fight is an ambush, being that we're squatting stealthy boys. But that's going to have to wait until next time. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next episode.